imagine being born as a man, the greatest gift on planet Earth, and just wasting that potential away. It's Whoa! What is up, guys? Today it is the afternoon. Usually I record in the morning very early, 6, 7, but I slept in today all the way into 8. Today we are going over this cringe channel. Apparently it's cringe. I don't know. I've heard it's really cringe. It's called Far From Weak. Oh, here it is. And they just posted a new video. Here, let me show you the screen. All right. <laughs> Already we're off to a bad start with this look, bro. Hold on. I took a picture like that too. Check it out, bro. We got the same look. Oh my goodness, you can't even see it. So, this is what we're going over today. We got lots of good thumbnails. What the fuck, man? I don't know if it's actually that bad, to be honest. This is just typical YouTuber. Funniest, the funniest looking video. We got, we got the big cartoon jiggly cheeks. 1.3 million. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a lot of these are very sexual and very weird. We got the god of war giving his computer a dollar bill for panties. Okay. A million views, by the way. Cra crazy that's a million people clicked that thing. <laughs> There's probably a lot of good advice. Or well, not, not good advice, but probably actually a lot to learn here. Because as cringe as these thumbnails are, a lot of them are getting millions of views okay but let's go to no i'm not watching that one i'm not watching the how to get girls i'm sorry guys i'm not watching that we're gonna watch i saw a funny one okay well we'll watch we'll watch the uh we'll watch god of war gives computer money for panties and has weird stuff okay going on we'll watch this one is it gonna be any good we'll see we'll see if it has anything to do with god of war imagine being born as a man the greatest gift on planet earth and just wasting that potential away. It's Whoa! <laughs> Hold on a sec. I was watching this well, I came here, right? I came on this guy's video and there was a lot of really funny content. Now that I'm recording, it doesn't seem that funny. There's the really funny thumbnail. I don't know. It's not here anymore. All right, we'll finally, we'll uh, we'll watch the key to financial freedom and we're gonna find out if it's actually really going to be the key. Apparently it's live right now. Oh Lord. I'm about to give you the key to financial freedom. This key is what sets the super rich apart from the rest okay. of the people. While the public rushes over and fights over pennies at the old spot. Puff. Pathetic. Oh no, if pathetic. If you want to get rich, you need to see where the money <laughs> What? The subscribers without ever showing my face. Okay, fair enough. That was only- Hold on. Let me see if that's true. Oh, actually, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I got a million subs in a year, damn. Is choosing a niche, and I'm about to show you- This it's guy's been straight yapping for a full two minutes and- exactly how to Three minutes, and he said nothing. He said absolutely nothing so far. What the hell? All right, so I guess this is how it's done. You just yap, 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 and you don't say anything. Not gonna lie. That is how it's done. Instantly increase your chances of success by revealing the top six profitable niches. All right, let's hear it. This will blow your mind. So pay Okay, yeah, bro. I'm paying attention, bro. Attention. The six best niches are. Oh, my gosh. Just fucking tell me. Listen, number one is that they have videos going up consistently, getting over 100,000. Number one, Burger King foot lettuce. Now to figure out how much money this channel is Why is this guy wearing a mask? Hold on. A higher paid niche. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Look. Okay, okay, okay. So this guy, right, it's a faceless channel. Oh, gosh. And he's wearing a... <laughs> so that's not him. That's not him in the cartoon. But it's a cartoon of God of War. Wearing a mask. Ow. What's the point of the mask? For example, you may have seen channels that made update videos about Andrew Tate when he was in jail. These are channels in the celebrity niche. And oh, I did that. Except... It wasn't actually a video on Andrew Tate. It was a little bit of clickbait, and I did a little bit of tricking. I tricked you guys. Ha ha. Hee hee. Ha. All they did was post update videos about Andrew Tate, and they make great money while talking about nothing most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> the 
this guy. He, he just said how it is, bro. By talking about nothing. That's what we all do. <laughs> Next video, I'm going to give away the secret I used to blow up this channel. I never share this publicly before. Go back. Away the secret I used to blow up this. What is that thumbnail? What does that? Look at it. It says "eat piss." I got demonetized and became rich. Okay, and he's peeing on a trash. It says "eat piss." I've won, but at what cost? I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty cringe, but they work, clearly. I never shared this publicly before, but this secret will help you blow up any faceless chain. He's never shared it publicly, except for on his... Eight other channels. Cause on Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, the third video of this series will go live. And I want to remind you that the secret's out show. Okay, let's watch it. I don't feel like going through all these videos and finding it. Pussy, stop being a pussy in red and in, in big red. A pussy? Very smart marketing. Now, where is this garbage can video? Win fights. In, how four ways to actually win a street fight? Ah, these are such good thumbnails. I want to click on them. I, they're so cringe, but they work. I just want to know what could he pot like? Is he just gonna give you fighting advice, or is he gonna say something stupid? Have you ever considered the thought of losing your life in a street fight? Most guys. No. Why would I even get into a street fight? Think they are tougher than they actually are. And that tough guy fantasy will be destroyed real quick in a violent situation. It doesn't matter if you're a good person or what the laws in your country are. Okay, I think it probably does matter what the laws in your country are, but go on. Oh no, this is, this is getting bad really quick. Anyone could get brutally attacked on the street and even lose their life. That's actually true, though. It is true. Here is the dark reality. If you end up getting attacked on the street as a man, you likely will not get any help from bystanders. Men have a protective instinct. Um. <sighs> I don't know why he's saying it like that. <laughs> you... You're not gonna get any help. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, I guess. I Yeah, he's right. <laughs> this means that if you end up getting attacked on the street, oh, you should expect people to keep walking, to watch, or maybe even start recording for their own entertainment. Listen, avoid a street fight at all costs. Yeah. Street fights are high risk and no reward. The best self-defense is not to get in a fight at all, and you should escape the scene if possible. However, there are some rare situations where you can't- Oh no! What is going on in this scene? No! Oh oh, this looks like a, a, a prison, um... It doesn't look like they want to fight this guy. It looks like they want to do something else. People in the world, and the person that is willing to take your life might not let you get away. In this video, we will go over four things you should know to win a street fight. Okay, he's doing the typical... Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to go over the top 10 ways to kiss a man in public that you've never met before. So let's jump into it! It's very clear that he has a... Uh, very distinct strategy for each one of these videos where he, he does the intro and then he starts listing stuff off, which is very smart. As cringy as these videos are, I feel like there's a lot to learn. Not about street fights, though. <laughs> there's a lot to learn if you are watching it and reading it in between the lines. Other than that, I, I, I gives good advice, but it's like, yeah, no, no shit. Yeah, I know. I probably shouldn't fight random people. Thank you. Number one, martial arts is not good enough. The first thing you should note is that just learning martial arts is not good enough. Let's take boxing as an example. In boxing, you get taught to fight with gloves on and only use your hands. If you take the gloves off, everything changes. You can't block the same way because you don't have gloves protecting your face. And you can't punch as hard as you want because you might break your hand. 
Uh, I don't know, yeah. You can you can still block your face, though, and you can still dodge punches. Obviously. Obviously, yeah, but at the same time, if you're a professional boxer, I think you probably do fine in a street fight. I'd, I wouldn't know. I mean, if the street fight's against an MMA, professional MMA fighter, then I guess not. But if you're a professional boxer and you're fighting some junk guy that's not a professional boxer, you're probably going to win, I feel like. Also, no one to break it up when you end up in a clinch. If a kickboxer throws a kick and slips, there is no referee to help him stand back up. You also trust your opponent to not grab a knife and stab you during a rolling session, or to not call his friends and have them soccer kick you in the head. <laughs> this is getting pretty intense. If you're a professional UFC MMA fighter, you might be good, but what you're not counting on is for your opponent to pull out an AK-47 and unload an entire clip from the AK-47 into your body. Do not misunderstand it. I'm not saying you should neglect martial arts <laughs> training. It is Do not underestimate. Make sure if you get into a street fight that you remember he might be wearing an explosive vest on. Figure out if your opponent has backup that will help him or if... Um... Okay. He has a weapon. You must pay attention to- That guy doesn't have a gun. He, he doesn't have a gun. You can run. You can escape. That's not real. Look. Oh, my face is blocking. Look, he doesn't have a gun. So you're good to go. You're good to go. I think that's the point of that B-roll. I don't know. Make sure he doesn't have- ah, I can't move the wrong image. Ah, there we go. Make sure he doesn't have, as, as you can see here, a full convoy of what it looks like to be- um fucking army uh, for for backup and an imaginary ak-47 very imperative to winning a street fight everything going on you, you need to be oh able to no oh no you're not gonna win this one what kind of a street fight is this everything within second what is that guy doing what does this have to do with anything this is like when i made my last video and then i, I put call of duty gameplay over it because i didn't feel like editing it right because i make daily videos it would take too long and i didn't feel like recording my face that day and then i got comments oh, why is there a guy called call of duty gameplay in the background i don't care <laughs> that's why this guy however spent time editing this video and he put in this random convoy so it doesn't apply to me because i didn't edit my videos Let's see the arm combo what are we going with what are we rocking with practice this the next time you sit at a restaurant <sighs> wish.com godfather imagine shouting back and forth with a guy and it's getting out of hand you are so pissed off that you challenge the other guy to a fight all of a sudden he is completely calm i thought he said not to try to fight but now we're going into, oh, I'm going to challenge you to a fight. Ah, ah, ah. You're yelling at a guy. You're trying to get into a fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he's calm. Okay. It is the sudden change in demeanor that is scary. Yeah, this, this is so scary. I'm shiver me timbers. Good rule of thumb is to have your back up against the wall. That way, you know no one is going to attack you from behind. Hmm. I guess that's a good idea, but I thought we were trying to get out of this situation. Or you could just go like this. Hit him with the... Hit him with the... Yeah, look at my biceps, bro. You don't want to fight this. Ah. And then they'll probably run away. <laughs> just hit him with the... Just say, hmm. You could decide who wins by measuring each other's biceps. And then um, kiss each other afterwards. Number five. I feel like this is good advice. It's just really fucking cringe. It's really stupid. Who gets into street fights? No one. Unless you're a complete idiot. People often have things done to them, okay? Let's say, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go too into it so I don't get canceled. But people, if they get robbed or they get into a fight or they get stabbed, a lot of time, you know, it's not their fault. Well, I can't even say that because a lot of the time people put themselves in these situations. As a matter of fact, you know, somebody who is winning four win four ways to actually win a street fight is probably the type of moron to put themselves in that situation. It's not like something that just happens out of the blue. Like you have to go to a major city, first of all, or I guess maybe not a major city, maybe a smaller town. You have to go to a bar or something where people are drunk and stupid or on drugs or something. And then you have to go up to them and you have to piss them off for no reason. I feel like it's actually very difficult to get into a fight with a random person for, for no reason. P 
people generally don't want to fight you for no reason. So, I, you know, this video is dumb. And it's really not that difficult to de-escalate things. Unless you're a police officer. Then it's the most difficult thing in the world. <laughs> The police job. The police's uh, job is to escalate things. Your opponent into underestimating you and letting him do a backflip, knockout, spin 360, UFC, UFC 360, backflip, hit, uh, and then take off my shirt like that prisoner there and smack everybody with it. <laughs> Why doesn't he use his fist? Why is he using a piece of fabric? I feel like his fist probably would hurt more. You would gain a huge <laughs> advantage. Throw a fast jab followed by a right hand. Hit them in the nuts. Or, here's an idea. Don't fight a random person. Why would you fight a random person? So silly. Imagine I get randomly attacked on the street, <laughs> like tomorrow, and then and then I get killed and this whole this whole thing's I, I just jinxed it. It's the person that knows how to not end up in a street fight. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Until next time. <laughs> Whoa. Why, that is not a part of the brand. His voice just switched up from God of War to being very nice and then a little ding ding ding. This is how you beat the absolute crap out of somebody. And by the way, guys, if you want to make sure to sub. Oh, by the way, guys, if you would like to subscribe, you can. Uh, I would really appreciate it. That is it. I would go over this last one here because I'm actually kind of interested. I'm not even going to lie on how to how to get a million subs. I'm very interested in that. However, the video is 22 minutes long and I don't feel like watching it. And I don't feel like reviewing it. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, please. It's okay if you don't want to. I don't want to force your hand. And I also have a self-improvement Discord in the description with like-minded young men who are on self-improvement and stuff. It's not as cringe as this. Right, we're actually trying to improve ourselves. Links in the description for free. One more thing. This is the first reaction video that I've done. I thought they would be a little bit interesting. I've always kind of wanted to do one. I can't get that in the camera, can I? We'll go over this way. Uh, yeah, today was pretty late day, pretty lazy day. I woke up at eight today, so I didn't really get a chance to properly film a video in the morning. Regardless, I fucking did. I fucking made a video. I made a video. That's what you gotta do. Uh, one more time. Just check this out. Just check this out one time. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out one time. Damn. Damn, check it out. One time. One time. Check it out.